happened just a few years after California's gold rush, a valuable commodity uncovered in the secluded valleys in eastern Contra Costa County. Sometime in the 1850s, coal was accidentally discovered in this area. Uh, and so this is right after the gold rush. And word got out, and so folks came here from all over the world, just like they did for the gold country. In fact, some folks even left the gold country and came here. It didn't take long for business to thrive. Twelve mines sprung up in the Black Diamond region. From 1860 to 1900, four million tons of coal extracted from the earth, California's largest coal mining operation. It employed more than 1,000 miners, mostly from Wales, Ireland, Italy, and other parts of Europe. This is where it was happening, that's for sure. This is where the work was. Uh, you know, they got word out uh, to, to people that, that lived in, all over the world, in Italy, Wales, England, sent word that, hey, you know, come join us. A lot of coal found here, and that's what folks did. Five towns grew amid the hills and mines. In the 1870s, Nortonville was the largest community in Contra Costa County. Summersville was second. Visitors to those towns would have been impressed with what they saw. They would have seen a basin area full of structures, uh, hotels, they had a city park, um, they had a community hall, uh, many, many homes. The work was dangerous. Several hundred miners died over the decades. A cemetery was established on the hill between Summersville and Nortonville. The miners and some of their young children are still buried there. We have come across many newspaper accounts of accidents underground. Uh, where they had cave-ins or explosions uh, caused by the gas. And up in Rose Hill Cemetery, there is one area where a number of men are buried who died in July of 1876. There was a terrible accident that occurred in the Black Diamond Mine in Nortonville. As the century turned, there was still plenty of coal left in the ground. There still is. But it was a low-grade version of Black Diamonds. The discovery of higher-quality coal in the state of Washington eventually closed the Contra Costa mines. Competition from better grade coal is what caused these mines to close uh, new energy sources. Uh, and the coal that's found here, even though there's still a lot left, and this was the largest coal mining area, it's a very poor quality coal. It's lignite. The coal miners left, the towns died, but the Black Diamond region wasn't finished. In the 1920s, sand mines opened. Summersville supplied the Hazel Atlas Glass Company in Oakland while Nortonville provided sand for Pittsburgh Columbia Steelworks. The old towns didn't revive because workers had automobiles, so they lived in the nearby towns of Antioch and Clayton. The sand mines operated until almost 1950. By that time, most of the remnants of the mining towns were gone. People recycled the structures that were here. A lot of the uh, buildings exist today in local communities. And the structures were simply dismantled and loaded on either the train or wagons and hauled down to nearby communities, and the wood was reused there. The mines and the old town sites are now part of the Black Diamond Mines Regional Preserve. If you visit there, you can peer down the 800-foot mine shaft known as Eureka Slope or read the refurbished headstones in the Rose Hill Cemetery. Quiet reminders of a place that was once noisy and busy. I'm Bill Schechner. Digging deep into the past. And that's today's history lesson.